I started early on making art, drawing when I was a kid. And then I got into college and started pushing different directions. The mediums that I'm using are just like a direct response to the I lived environment. Communities kind of butting up right next together and understanding that dynamic. Even spaces that are disappearing. The physical space, but the feeling of five different spaces in one, what does that look like? That's why the medium is so mixed because it's just really a direct like, kind of reflection of materials that I find in the city. When I think about making a sculpture like a neon, taking it from that storefront and speaking to the passerby, it's like I'm speaking to my friends, to my brother, to my family. I feel like these neons can become protest signs, they can become warning signs. The Angela Davis, James Baldwin quote was a warning sign. Anybody can be persecuted. It's a haunting quote, and I hope that in a good way it haunts other people in a productive way to respond to things that they see around them and injustices and speak to things that they don't feel that they can swallow. I think a lot about my mixed background. Being a child in the 80s in America and growing up and having to assimilate. My mother was from the Philippines, so she felt that pressure to really just be English speaking. There's a little bit of erasure in a lot of what is personal to me. I have to say something about it, right? It's all about kind of preserving ideas and feelings and, and making sure that that gets projected out in the world. <laughs>